Hello, and welcome to how to add sound and particle effects to Unreal Engine 4. So, um, this video will show you how to add sound and particle effects. So, if you want to add sound to your level, you're going to need to import it. So, like any other um, device or prop, you would import it like normal. Just select file and import it. Um, and if you want to place it in your scene, you'll just click and drag it like any other item. So once it's there, um, you can listen to it by hitting play. Um, and you can also edit all your basic settings over here in the details. But um, something that you might want to look for that isn't here is the fall off area for the sound. You can go there if you go to override attenuation. And then over here you can change that radius so that now only in this area will that sound play and I can change its fall off distance. So we'll make it like that. <clears throat> and we can listen to this sound when we play and here we are. Now it might not play the sound for you but it's working. And it gets quieter whenever I move away from it from it because of that attenuation option. Now particles. Particles are a lot more difficult to um, achieve and so um, if you want to create a particle you can let's see I believe I already have mine here but um, oh right if you want to make a new particle system you just go to add new and then particle system like that and you can name it whatever you want but I'll just show you mine that I made. So with my particle system the dust moves in and out of you um, very slowly and um, there's a lot to know for particle systems so I'll try to touch on all of it. So over here under emitters are all of your main settings and so um, I'll try to start with the obvious ones. So um, lifetime, that changes how long of a life your particles have. So this means that each particle will exist for four seconds. So if I make that one second minimum and one second max, then they will come in and out of you only under one second. And let's go on to initial size. Um, this literally just changes the size of the particles, their maximum size and minimum size, so we can bump that up to crazy numbers so that you can see them more clearly. And you know, you have a viewer so that you can look at your particles better. Um, Let's go to initial velocity. So with initial velocity, you can control what direction your particles move in. And so um, if I wanted them to move downward, then I would change that Z direction. Let's try negative 100 max. So it's already moving them at um, the maximum 100 degrees, uh, minimum 5 degrees. Um, but if I want them to move upward, I'll just give it a positive Z um, aspect. I'm not sure what to call that. Um, color over life. This is a little bit more confusing. Um, this basically changes what color 
these particles are over their lifespan. So these points over here under distribution are correlated with this graph. And so we should be able to see that. I don't want to hit my mute button. Whenever it reaches the zero point or the half point or the whole second or half second, zero second, um, it changes the color. So at half a second, it reaches full color. At one second, it is zero color, and at zero seconds, it is zero color. Um, now, what's really changing this vanishing sort of um, appearance is the alpha, not color. And we can look at that over alpha over life. And so um, this is what is really giving that appearance of, um, like I just said, uh, vanishing and coming slowly into view. And so um, these curves kind of change that, um, just like any timeline on uh, any other animation sort of program. And Sphere, um, that sort of setting just let me change this to the shape of the particles. So if I wanted to uh, put them in a certain uh, confined space, then I would give it a location. Um, so I'm using sphere under location. And if I did cylinder, then it would be inside a cylinder. But um, since I have sphere on, then there we go. Now it's in a tightly compacted cylinder. Um, drag changes how fast or slow the particles move after they spawn. Um, lifetime is, I think I already told you how um, long they live. Spawn is um, how many particles spawn. So if I bring that down to 40, then there's going to be less particles that spawn in that one second lifetime or constantly. And you can change the rate that they spawn. Um, and I think oh, required, you cannot delete required. Um, these are the basic settings that will be on every single particle system. And I think that's about it. Particles are kind of confusing to me right now but I think I get the gist of it. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.